a lot of games and like Grand Robin you see a lot of games but like a lot of the later ones are like people have already gotten in bracket. Yep. Well no I feel like a, a big criticism a lot of people say is like if someone wins a tournament or something they're like you know you dodged your bracket demon you dodged a bad matchup and no dodging here no dodging here yeah you have to play everyone right i believe that's the way it works i think it works you don't have to play oh you don't play everyone Not but everyone, you play quite a few yeah I'm gonna take take a bite of my maji chicken here mm. <laughs> i'm getting the camera set up right now oh <laughs> nice yeah we'll, we'll show <laughs> off no, no, this no, amazing snack box <laughs> it's not plugged in yet obviously okay so eat well, well you let can. us know oh, i was just like gonna show it off. i was gonna shill for maji we're like, but we're like caught in 4k <laughs> Wow, that's actually really good. Look at guys, Maji T-Bar, Johns Creek, Georgia. What? Try not to chew in the mic. All right, I'll try not to. Sorry, I'm not gonna be that guy. This is the most annoying thing I ever, like, <laughs> podcasters, commentators, please stop. <laughs> uh, they'll, they'll hear how delicious it sounds. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna stop, no more bites. Chilling over. Though I will show it off if they get the camera I make running. You, <laughs> I make you feel bad. You did. <laughs> good. It's okay. I think the viewers at home are going to thank you for that one. The All right. Persona music playing in the background. Maybe it's a power-up. No newcomers here. Well, we have a, a Georgia Classic here. We have Coda versus Fatality. Ooh, the Lucas coming out instead of um, the previous gunner. They're just doing a button check right now, so no need to get too into it quite yet. Coda changed his tags many times, but he's been a force in the scene for quite a while now. And I wonder if we are going to see a gunner. I'm surprised. Um, I feel like Lucas is a character a lot of people had confidence in. I've seen. I feel like I've seen a lot of them kind of yeah, walk I mean, away from the character. Very so. strange character, because like mm -hmm. on paper, you look at his frame data, you look at like the things he can do, and you're like, that, that's a top tier. But then in an actual match, like. There's just something about the way he moves, you know, the the difficulty and tightness of his combos, how they don't always work every single time. Uh, he's a frustrating character, I feel like. You know, he has trouble making things work sometimes, but very solid with a very high potential skill ceiling. Uh, and Icoda, uh, or just Coda now, actually, he changed his name, uh, a player with very deep pockets. He's got quite a few characters that he plays. Uh, he's got, like, the Me Gunner waiting in the wings. Um, he can play some Ness, too. Uh, I think he's picked up, I guess, uh, Pyramithra. So yeah. I don't I'm think they're going to come out today, but. Ooh, Fatality Jigglypuff? Okay. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> I don't think so. so <laughs> Could you imagine uh, a different little, world? Little side note when, when I first started playing Smash Ultimate, I got into something called Anther's Ladder, which is like uh, an online ranking system outside of like the normal Smash ranking. And I just remember looking through there in like the southeast region, and uh, it would be six different uh, Icoda accounts would it have the top <laughs> six spots. He used to just grind that letter all the time with all sorts of different characters. So uh, this is a guy who has fundies. This is not, you know, he plays characters that some people might think are kind of gimmicky, like me Gunner. But man, he can he can make it work. He'll sauce you with anything. Yeah, the advantage state, the disadvantage, neutral through and through, no matter the character. But oh. Vitality looking to make an early lead here, only a. 32% on him as he seals out that first stock, putting him in a comfy lead. Yeah, that's a really good start for Fatality here. Uh, already lapping in percent. Looking for some offstage early kills there. Looking for him, not quite finding him. But, but oh, yeah. wow. DK Fire coming out. You know, you do have to wonder if a lot of people walk away from Lucas just to like kind of exploitable recovery, exploitable offstage game. That's true. I mean, he. He's got, um, his up B is pretty hard to challenge, uh, depending on the character. Some characters can do it pretty easily. Oh, wow, that killed at 70. Man, Rage Falcon up smash. When are they going to stop buffing this move, dude? Um, Not until he's top five. Yeah. But yeah, as I was saying, Lucas over Ness, he, he has like a, a lot more range on his up B, and he also has that tether recovery, which can be really, really nice. Uh, and he's going to find that stock on Fatality saying, and you know what, I'm taking at least one today. Yeah, but Fatality, oh, oh, oh like I said. no, yeah. not like that. Oh, man, again, what a stock yeah. from Fatality. When you're against characters like that who are very comfortable going offstage, especially oh, yeah. with players like Fatality who almost thrive offstage, it feels like having that recovery that stalls you in the air perfectly in line for a yeah, dare spike. A it, juicy dare. It's a, it must be frustrating, but 
So what I do you think? I wonder if we're going to see a switch. Yeah, I'm curious as well. Um, you know, we did see the gunner earlier, and the gunner did pretty did well. Pretty good, yeah. Against Vendetta, I think I'm not sure if he took a game, but he kept it very close. Mm -hmm. um, I I gotta wonder if Falcon just a little too the fast. The coming out, which makes me feel like. Gunner, yeah, town feels uh, like a gunner pick, no, but no. Lucas. Gonna be Lucas. But again, you know, kind of same theory on why you would pick the stage. You know, you can back up a little bit. Um, you can throw out your PK fire. You know, yeah. Maybe play a little bit more patiently. And again, yeah, the Zare's already coming out, trying to space a little bit more. Yeah, but oh man, just so much more for interaction for Falcon <laughs> than for Lucas here. 34 versus 13. That being said, uh, Lucas a really good edge guarder. This, oh wow. I thought the PK Thunder was going to be a little bit more effective than that. Uh-oh. I'm looking for instant double jump combos here out of Fatality. He was talking earlier about how amazingly good they are. I played some friendlies with him, and he was he was killing me at some stupid percents with that stuff. Yeah, but now the platforms are gone, so that's do true. Too much more, but Deathrow not gonna take it. But oh wow, that was a huge commitment out of Fatality versus a character with a tether. Uh, but still, not quite punished for it. Nair two trading. Fatality gonna make it back, no problem though. Yeah, but just carefully taking their time to get back to stage after they sent each other flying. But I wonder who's gonna take this first stock here. Um, both playing really patiently, looking for one opening to punish. You know, this first stock can change the momentum of the game, and it's gonna oh, be fatality wow. first. That up the out of shield. You know, it's slow. It's frame 15. Uh, but the fact that it beats shield, it beats jump, <laughs> and it can beat spot dodge if you delay it slightly means that it, it actually can be a pretty solid out of shield option. Not tr not in a traditional fast way, uh, but in the coverage kind of way. And wow. Uh, so completely Co resetting this game. There's no extra percent. Yep. Um, Finding and a again, tech even chase. again, 13-13. Yep. Just winning interaction after interaction here is Coda. But not getting too much off of them. Yeah, again, we're just we okay. are slowing down a lot more, a lot, especially from last game in terms of comparison. But I could have got him off stage here, so we'll see if he pushes his advantage. But Fatality able to find his way back to center, yeah. and there to push his advantage. We're kind of just playing neutral here right now. No super openings. Ooh, is there a knee coming out? No, not yet. Not yet, but getting a lot of damage from that uh, that platform reset. You gotta think these two players have pretty opposite play styles, right? Ooh. You got oh oh no oh misses no. the tech. Yeah, probably thought he was going in completely the other direction there. Maybe yeah. not too prepared to tech, but again, Coda sitting in a really comfortable position here now. Um, Lucas upbeat, not really working like Ness is, right? Where the the head of it like will hit you up really hard, and the tail will sort of semi spike you. The whole thing semi spikes, mm. so you can like combo it into itself. You can like send people at disgusting angles off stage. Um, it's a really good edge guarding tool, especially against some weaker recoveries. Captain Falcons being among them. Especially like. Um, oh, oh, what a well placed bear. Yeah, Falcons recovery, you know, linear, you know, you kind of know the limits of his recovery, not too much mix besides yeah. the occasionally weaving in double jumps, air yeah. dodges, stuff like that. But Fatality, one of the best in the world at doing so, mm -hmm. but there's still, you know, everyone's playing the same. Your they're top players, they're playing the same character you are. That character still has those weaknesses, even if it's piloted by a top player. You know, they'll mitigate them, they'll try to get around them as much as they can. Ooh, but ready to detect that time. Ooh. But as we saw right there, it's still Captain Falcon versus Lucas. Mm -hmm. Really impressive for Icoda there, or for Coda. Taking game two. Yeah, especially um kind of after game one, you don't don't lose your confidence, you know. Sometimes it just happens. A small side note, uh, off stream. Wrath just qualified for playoffs tomorrow, beating Sunia. So wow, even yeah. though did they ditto? I'm pretty sure. Oh, we'll find out in a second. We'll out in a second. There's a, a stage discussion going on real quick. Trying to decide where we're going here in this game three. I think Yoshi's is up for discussion here. Lucas There's some modified DSR, so yeah. that's something to keep in mind. I think we're not going to see too much switch now that Coda has proven that he can do it with Lucas. Yeah, I feel like that is a very confident character. Maybe um, Falcon, pretty good at closing the gap against Gunner. Maybe not comfortable at all against that character. Lucas kind of can scrap a little bit more, I say. But I mean, I think it more comes down to that offstage we saw. You know, yep. Lucas Epi, you know, closed out a few stocks for him. So, Card, did Sunino and Wrath ditto? Nope, Sunino went 
Snake. Sunito goes Snake for Sonic hmm. and Jack CK, who is a Pichu we used to play. <laughs> <laughs> I remember him. <laughs> I don't know if y'all remember the Jack CK. <laughs> oh, I do. <laughs> I remember. I remember playing Jack and hating it. <laughs> so, Fatality and Coda in this game three here. Big up air string. Uh, is Kalos, Kalos is part what? of the rule set? Oh, That's wow, that up big. getting absorbed. I, think it hit by I don't the know wall? if there's a gentleman or what, but yeah, going to Kalos. Uh, again, one of Falcon's best stages. Yeah, very unfortunate there. Sometimes the, the game is just like, no. But Coda shaking it off pretty quickly. Oh my gosh, Ooh. that was ballsy, is one word for it. Uh, challenging that PK fire, uh, thunder. Freeze. Wow, I got it. That was <laughs> There's just all, all naming a bunch of Pokemon types. Yeah. <laughs> Again, Kalos, really good stage for Falcon. Probably totally feeling himself there. Ooh. Man, it is so hard to tech Lucas's up here. Because you never know when it's going to boot you out. Oh, Ooh. that would have been dope. Ooh, can he get back? He oh, can. it was dope. It was dope. He I just didn't see it yet. You're I spoke be too my soon. Recovery. So Again. tense, but you know, Fatality kind of easing the tension here by taking a massive lead early on in this Ooh. game three. Oh. But again, we're back to even. Again, 0-0, zero, zero, stock two. Is it up to Fatality to see if he can close out an early stock to get this game going a little bit faster? But I think Koda, you know, likes this slower pace, likes poking, finding openings here. Um, kind of playing more the long game. Oh no, he fell out of the dare. That would have been a stock for Coda. That would have been a, a near evening up. But Fatality, I don't know if he SDI'd or what, but he falls out. Wow, that wall jump there, so smooth. Master of his character, for sure. Both these players masters of their characters. And they, both of these players kind of running all over the walls here. Um, they know that this is kind of where the matchup comes down to. Yeah, this Uppy yep. doing a lot of work in this matchup, just kind of exploiting Falcon's uh, you know, recovery here. Yeah, the linearity of it, mm -hmm. definitely uh, a detriment. Ooh. Oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, all right. I mean, yeah. Just shot him out of his just chest area. Not even a dare at that point, just stood on yeah. top of him. I thought it was I thought it was one of those fake kill screens where you bounce off the stage, but no, he went straight out. Mm -hmm. All right, where are we going? It's a northern cave here. It looks like that might be the case. Uh -oh. That is an uh oh. Uh oh. You hear the music. That's the sound of fatality the, approaching on Northern Cave. The instant character lock into <laughs> the Sephiroth theme pick. Uh oh. Again, somebody's fatality. in trouble. Yeah, Coda picked this stage, but fatality known for uh, thinking this is Falcon's best. <laughs> we'll see if he can prove it. Yeah, I mean, there's tension like rising. My heart is beating faster with this as the song starts. So we'll see. Yeah, he needs the power up. Probably, probably the best song in the game. Mm -hmm. If I'm being honest. Oh yeah. <laughs> I just kind of want to listen to it. I, I don't want to talk. I'm it's like the attention. atmosphere is too good. Oh wow! I'm getting sent straight down the, there. The confidence to fastball there, <laughs> like the sheer like knowledge of the situation uh -oh. that you're in. This platform super scary around a falcon who just got a stomp, but. Oh my god, he's dead. He's dead. Yeah, he tries for a, a grab there. I wonder if he was like cheesing a little bit or if he was trying to flat through, drop through Platin Zair. I'm not sure which one. Yeah, Griffin, I mean, I don't know who picked the song there, but I feel like almost the song powers up everyone universally. But Coda going off stage here. I wonder if it's okay. enough, and it is. I feel like it's more of a Falcon song than it is a Lucas song, if I'm being <laughs> honest. Though we've all seen how dark the Mother series is, right? Mm -hmm. So who knows? Ooh, this is up to Koda to see if he can get an early stock. Oh, but no, not yet. But he's so good at trying to keep these uh, interactions toward the ledge so he can maybe sneak in an early stock oh. here, but not finding anything. He's always kind of one second behind Fatality when it comes to stock taking, even though he keeps it even, but yep. uh, Fatality always kind of taking the stock first and closing it out. Yeah, I would call this matchup, this is like uh, edge guarding versus explosive on stage play, mm -hmm. right? Uh, Fatality able to take stocks much earlier than Coda's Lucas, but uh, you know what? Potential to get edge guard is always there. Ooh, or dash attacks. But, but still living here. 
Um, we'll see if Fatality keeps up the trend and closes out this stock first, but... Oh, did you Koda. see him start a turnaround up smash, yeah. dude? He thought he was in his head. Koda said, nah, dude. That, mm -hmm. My brain is mine. Get out. <laughs> Don't you hear the song? It's for me. And they're just fighting over it. They're like, no, it's, Call it's it my power up song. But not for me. <laughs> <laughs> Down tilt there. Going to take it. 140% though. It's not going to take much for Lucas to find this one. Grabbing the wrong way by mistake. Is he getting nervous? We'll see. But again, like we were saying, uh, Fatality keeping up this pace of closing out the stock first. You know, Kota might close out the stock um, fairly quickly. He's, you know, Fatality sitting at 159. But, you know, Fatality always getting there just one step ahead. Juggles coming out. That is 81%. Ooh, he's a... Oh, big read. Ooh. Ah. So again, um, not closing out that stock particularly. He's sitting at yeah. 91 now. But again, you know, like we saw earlier, it takes one interaction off stage that might be Coda's opening for this matchup. Oh, but the Woodstool. Woodstool Falcon Kick. Dude, he was saying that's the future. It's like frame four out of shield. It's really good. Oh, the turnaround up. It's a net 144. A very precarious situation here. And, and yeah. That, that bear's just going to close that out. From precarious to tearing straight over the edge. The Captain Falcon from Fatality, the one-winged angel was for him all along. Mm -hmm. I mean, if you're playing on that stage and you're not playing that song, what are you doing? Yeah, what are you doing? There's are there, no other option. Are there other good Final Fantasy seven songs in the game? Like, there's a couple, but nothing like that. They're all pretty good. I don't know. It feels like they're all good. What? Wait, isn't there, like, Genova? Isn't that a really good one? Or is that the same song? I can never remember the name. No, it's different. So yeah. Fatality that one's very good. almost finishing the Miracle Run. 